in this video, we're going to transition over to horizontal parabolas. Now, remember, we still have formulas for them. The patterns still hold with the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix. However, it goes left and right now because it's horizontal. So we're going to start off with our standard form, y equals a times the quantity y minus k squared plus h. And to write the equations, we're still going to have to apply the concept of completing the square. So let's write the equation in standard form and find all the points. Find the vertex, the focus, the length, the lattice, and the directrix. Again, you cannot complete the square first off until your quadratic and linear term are isolated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 8 to both sides so it cancels out here. So I get x plus 8 equals negative y squared plus 6y. You also cannot complete the square if your leading coefficient is not 1. So what I have to do is I have to factor out a negative 1 from both terms to get it so I have a positive leading coefficient. Since we've been completing the square already in multiple examples in this video series, we're going to combine the completing the square technique with the factoring technique into one step. What I do is I place my empty spot on the left where I'm going to put my value to keep the equation balanced. I factor out the negative, so I'm going to show negative 1, parentheses. That will change it to a positive y squared. It changes the 6y to a negative 6y, and I'm going to insert the placeholder here as well so I can complete the square. Now you focus inside the parentheses. Take half your b value, so negative 6 over 2, and then square it. That gives me negative 3 and negative 3 squared is a positive 9. Remember, we need to see these two values. So the 9 goes here. It gives me a perfect square trinomial. However, when we're trying to figure out what we need to put over here to keep the equation balanced, I have to take into consideration what I factored out. So negative 1 times 9, I'm really subtracting 9. So a minus 9 goes here. So 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So I have x minus 1 equals negative 1 times. And I look at, well, what did I square to get this 9? I squared a negative 3. So it's y minus 3. And then to solve for x, I get x equals negative 1 times y minus 3 squared plus 1. And so there is my general form, my standard form for this horizontal parabola. From here, I can find the coordinate of my vertex, the focus, the equation, the directrix, and the length of the lattice for it. So I always identify my a, my h, and my k values here. a is negative 1. Now the tricky part is since we've been doing vertical so far, we need to remember that if it's attached to your y, that is your k value. So here, k is 3. And what I'm adding, subtracting the outside is my h. So h is 1. So the vertex is represented by the coordinate with the horizontal parabola, hk. So my vertex is the coordinate 1, 3. Now I'm going to sketch a little graph. I can see a is negative, that tells me my focus is going to be to the left of my vertex because my graph would be opening left since it's negative. So here's my vertex. So my focus should be here and my directrix would be back here. The distance from your vertex to the focus is always 1 over 4a, just like if it was a vertical parabola. Same thing, a vertex to the directrix is 1 over 4a in the opposite direction. So I want to find my 1 over 4a first. So I take 1 over 4a, and a is negative 1. So I have 1 over 4 times negative 1, which gives me a negative 1 fourth. 
So the equation for the focus is h plus 1 over 4a, because you're moving left or right, so it affects the horizontal value, comma k. So I have my h value, which is 1. I am adding a negative 1 fourth. So that means I'm subtracting 1 fourth, comma 3. So 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. So the coordinate of my focus is 3 fourths, comma 3. The directrix is a vertical line. The formula we use for this is x equals h minus 1 over 4a. So x equals 1. I'm subtracting a negative 1 fourth, which means I'm really adding 1 fourth. So here, x equals 1 and 1 fourth, or you could say 5 fourths if you want to use a mixed fraction. So I have my vertex, I have my focus, I have the equation of the directrix. Now I need the length of the lattice. The lattice is the absolute value of 1 over a units. So I have the absolute value of 1 over negative 1, which is the absolute value of negative 1, which gives me 1. So the length of this lattice would be 1 unit long. So that's my focus, that's my directrix, the length of lattice, and my vertex for a horizontal parabola. We complete the square to get into our standard form, our general form, identify your a, h, and k, and go to the formulas for each one. So let's look at the next example, example two. Same idea. If I want to write this in standard form, I'm going to have to complete this square because it's not in that form already. So I have to isolate the quadratic and linear term. So what I would do here is I would subtract the 3 to get it to the other side. So that gives me x minus 3 equals. Now I'm going to combine a step here. I'm going to see I cannot complete the square with the leading coefficient that is not 1. So I'm going to have to factor out that negative 5. So negative 5 parentheses, y squared, and this would become a negative 4y. So I, this time, did the isolating of the quadratic and linear and the factoring out my leading coefficient so I can get a 1 here in the same step. Now I'm going to complete the square, so I'm going to insert my placeholders on the left side, and I'm going to insert my placeholders on the right side. And I take half of my linear term, so I take half of negative 4, which is negative 2, and then I square that and get a positive 4. Make sure you show both of these numbers. Positive 4 goes here. But I don't put a 4 over here because I'm not really adding 4 to this right side. I have to take in consideration that this negative 5 would be distributed. And so negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. I'm really subtracting 20. And so if I combine my like terms, I'm going to get x minus 23 equals negative 5 times the quantity. And I look at, well, what did I square to get this 4? I squared a negative 2. So it's a y minus 2 squared. And so I get x equals negative 5 times y minus 2 squared plus 23. And so that is my equation for this horizontal parabola in my general form. Now I identify my a, which is negative 5. If it's attached to the y, that's your k. So that's 2. And my h is 23. So my vertex is represented by the coordinate h, k. So my vertex is the coordinate 23, 2. To find your focus, you do h plus 1 over 4a, comma, k. And to find your directrix, you do x equals h minus 1 over 4a. So I should find 1 over 4a first. 1 over 4 a, and I have here, a is negative 5. So I have 1 over 4 times negative 5, which gives me a negative 1 20th. So for my focus, 
I have 23. I'm adding a negative 1 20th. So that's minus 1 20th, comma your k, which is 2. That's going to give me, and I'm going to use mixed fractions, 22 and 19 20ths, comma 2, because I subtracted 1 20th from 23. Same thing for your equation for the directrix. x equals your h value, which is 23. You're subtracting a negative 1 20th, so you're adding 1 20th. And that's going to give me x equals 23 and 1 20th. To find the length of the lattice, you do the equation 1 over the a, and you take the absolute value of it. So you have 1 over negative 5, which is negative 1 fifth. Take the absolute value of it, and you get 1 fifth. So the length of the lattice is 1 fifth units long. So this is how you write the equation of a horizontal parabola in standard form and identify all the components, the vertex, the focus, the lattice, the directrix. Now, again, you will be given these formulas for it. And the next video in this series, we'll look at how to graph these horizontal parabolas.